hello another video uh, I'm just doing here an evening walk I, I want to do a review of this uh, Terava Tiny that I have I just uh, have been using it now for I have it here on my on my uh, <coughs> the neck knife and uh, I'm actually just now have used it uh, like a couple of days and I bought it already like two weeks ago so uh, <coughs> didn't have a time to, to test it before now I tested it it's one of the, the latest uh, well I, it, it's the latest uh, knife from from Terabach lineup and uh, also <coughs> my tiniest uh, fixed blade so I'm just uh, going to set settle there uh, on the on the by the lake and uh, we'll continue with the review came here to 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 uh, kind of evening stroll and, and came to do some evening fishing here by this lake uh, it has a quite nice uh, perches and uh, also some trout so uh, very very nice evening like uh, the, the the wind has changed like from, from north to south so it promises a kind of a nice evening here but but anyways uh, yeah so uh, this is this is the knife <clears throat> Terra tiny it's made from uh, the rest part of of, of scrama so they make scrama and there's lots of leftover uh, steel so they they decided to use it and make this kind of a the, the tiniest uh, knife and uh, yeah it's uh, i never owned this type of knife really so this is also this is also my like tiniest fixed blade uh, the bark river little creek used to be but this is even tinier uh, although well well the handle is is, is longer but the blade the length is that also uh, shorter and here uh, also uh, doing like eating some some uh, evening like uh, snack uh, I have my uh, wheat beer and uh, some herring uh, <coughs> herring on rye bread it's actually uh, yeah, there's, there's cucumbers, it's just a uh, regular uh, rye bread and uh, good old herring. So the silly or silly in Finnish uh, ants wants to come to eat. No wonder. Uh, yeah, but uh, I, I, I actually liked. <laughs> I, I th thought this is go not going to be like food prep knife. So uh, so, but I, I tried it. And I will just maybe insert here shortly, like, uh, it did a very nice job with the cu cucumbers, actually. Just try to keep the slices as thin as possible. So I can just pile them over. I should have the, the deal also, but I, I just... Uh, didn't take it this time. This is not a gourmet <laughs> thing or anything. I, I was actually planning to do uh, like even a, I would do maybe a separate like a video of uh, of my latest like uh, having the Muri Kaleisku uh, bushcraft uh, frying pan, which is quite quite nice. Uh, I thought I'd actually would have done some food prep with it but uh, it's so dry here at the moment so it's it's a bit it's a re really a bit dangerous there has been quite a bit of uh, like forest fires here uh, <clears throat> now in Finland so actually that's a nice thing with those cucumbers to be honest I, I thought this is not going to be because it's so thick but it's so slicey the profile uh, yeah mm. It, it just brings me back to the childhood immediately. So it, it was kind of always a kind of signal that the summer has, has has started. It's always when parents buy. They buy this, uh, well, um, I should say, uh, in, in Finland, they, 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 the first season uh, potato is always uh, kind of a, almost as a celebration in Finland because it's, it's, in my opinion, the most delicious potato you can get. So... 
of all the like I, I have every evening is is really this kind of a northern uh, Scandinavian variety uh, new season potato just really tiny potatoes and they're so intensively sweet and, and nice uh, so it's just kind of this this typical typical Finnish uh, Finnish uh, <coughs> summer summer uh, lunch summer summer food is is really this kind of Herring with all the all the variations. So the basic is that you really have this uh, uh, you have this uh, new season potato and then uh, like butter there on top and then lots of dill and uh, and then rye bread and uh, maybe some boiled eggs and then then the herring or silly in, in Finnish. So but of course there's many many. Variations, the many varieties of silies in Finland. So, especially when the summer comes, it's just packing <laughs> the supermarkets with different variations. And I, I do I have to admit, I love it. So I eat a lot of herring uh, during du during summer. Well, actually, we eat it in Finland in in other uh, occasions also in in, uh, in a Christmas and etc. But uh, it's, but especially like a summer food, it always brings me back the memories from from childhood. The, the summer nights and the uh, herring and uh, yeah, but this this uh, interesting really knife. This knife, I, I I want to have it because uh, yeah, I met the the owner of the um, of the company Timo Lauri, the owner of the Lauri Metalli uh, steel company that makes also all the Jakare Bukos and the Skramas and everything. 80, 80 CRV2 steel, one of my favorite steels of all. And um, I had a, I had a chat with him. So nice guy, so down to earth. Um, I like very much. He's kind of a. He's kind of a, like he really emphasized the meaning of the importance of having good like price quality ratio of of, of blades. So this is really warms my heart because nowadays. This is this is like the opposite trend almost in the in the, in the knife world that lots of companies <coughs> uh, are really doing the opposite. So they they just hiking their prices all the time and maybe they they're just waiting like when their customers are fed up. So they just <laughs> I don't know. It kind of kind of pisses me pisses me off. So but they're really really great company and. Uh, and also, which was surprised me, uh, surprised to me, is that they really um, took also they take part of designing the blades. So this is was something new to me. And for example, this this is almost like the design is just uh, Timo Lauris, and uh, well, not completely, but he he really told that he, he took a part a lot with the, uh, with the design, and he wanted to have the finger choils, which I love. So you. They're really uniform, the, like the form here. Uh, it, it's interesting um, idea. It's very, uh, it's rounded here, so it's kind of soft. It's kind of velvety here, the, the unfinished part. So this grip that you you can have here is very nice. This is so good for precise work, like really really nice. I, like I said, I, I did yesterday some carving and uh, so forth. Uh, very very nice. I like the long handle because then if you push it here. This kind of it just like locks in like really really nicely. Um, but then interesting was that they wanted to have the um, like tip of the knife like one and a half centimeters about like sharpened like really sharp. I haven't actually tested yet, but I I can imagine this does like amazing uh, uh, strikes amazing uh, uh, sparks from a fire steel. So. This adds, in my opinion, to the appeal also of the knife, knife because I just really didn't thought like, okay, I'm going to use it as a carving knife, maybe, and uh, sure, but that does it do some other things. So, but yeah, it does quite nice food prep. Of course, you can open a fish with it. So it's kind of a tiny backup backup knife sort of neck knife. So why not? Maybe you'll really take this as a for a hiking trip and let's just let's see. But uh, I think it's. Quite a, quite nice, also as a multifunctional, tiny, uh, tiny uh, charmer. <laughs> yeah, but you can really look look the the blade um, thickness. You can really push this, so this won't break at all. So very 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 nice. Um, what else? Well, I, I I guess I don't have too much to to 
to to speak about it. It's just a logo, Terava logo. Um, yeah, but maybe I'll just uh, wrap it wrap it up. I will eat the <coughs> this uh, herring on a on a on a rye bread with cucumbers. Just very simple, <laughs> simple. Not, not a gourmet, but it's it's. I can assure you, it's quite nice here to eat this and have the beer. But yeah, but anyways. Um, uh, we'll, we'll continue testing this. Uh, also, not, the price point is, is quite nice. This was like 30, 30 euros. Um, the tip is really robust, uh, but still you can pierce with it, of course. So, yeah, but anyways, I'm, I'm uh, rambling on. Uh, we'll eat the, eat the breads and the beer and I will continue fishing here. Yeah, but anyways, thank you for watching. See you later.